Hi, welcome back to the next instalment of my Sawyer's Bench build where I'm cleaning off the bench and I'm going to do a dry assembly of the various parts. Currently up to just about six hours of work into this bench and I think I'm probably a little ahead of schedule. That's the basic framework. And the boards are going on top of that. An expletive may have left my mouth around about this point when I realised that uh, by placing the lippings down the central cutting slot, which is what I wanted to do, I ended up with the worst of the knots on the top surface. So that's pretty much it. You're seeing the, um, the far side, so we've got the cant on the legs there, and that's the front, so you've got the cant on the legs there. And here I was just uh, mumbling about the possible advantages and disadvantages of putting a V in the front of the bench. And I decided that I'd leave that until uh, well, I've used the bench for a while and see whether actually I, I would find it useful or not. It's very easy to put one in later if I want one. If you have any thoughts on this, please do leave a comment. I'd be very interested to hear what you say. I don't think that looks alright. I think that'll do a grand job. Now, so the next job I guess is cut the ends of these rails off flush, cut the ends of the stretches off flush. I also want to, um, when I fix the boards on, I want to have them doweled into the legs. Before starting the build I had thought they might dovetail or mortise the edges of the legs into the, the edges of the top. I think that should work. But I didn't end up with uh, material to make the legs long enough to do that anyway. So, uh, yep, I'm up for cutting off the, the tails of all these dovetails. That doesn't sound right, does it? I'm up for cutting off the, uh, the excess on all these joints. And thinking about it, with the grain directions being different, it might end up with the, the top of the bench being slightly uneven around those joints from time to time. The other thing I need to do is put the bevel on the top of this rail because obviously it's canted that way. I need to bevel this top and then I can uh, adjust the top of the legs.
Moment. Now I forgot to move the camera at this point, so even I'm not uh, sure what I was actually doing. Uh, there's some sawing noises, but I'm sure it didn't take me this long just to saw the ends off that one rail. Anyway, I'll speed through it as fast as I can and just mention that of course there are some free plans to download from my website for this Sawyer's Bench, so do avail yourself of those if you wish to make one. There's also an instructable now available which gives a few of the steps in text. Time for a little tool maintenance. Quick drop on the uh, chisel and it's back to work again. I think I need to do something about this uh, temporary sharpening bench. I've got wobbles far too much. Well, I hope you haven't fallen asleep. Um, I'm just trimming off the tops of the first two of the legs and I'll get around to doing the, the second two a little bit later on. I prepared them a little bit over length, uh, but slightly more than I'd intended to.
Well, I've gone and screwed up again with the camera angle here. You can't see what I'm doing. I am actually uh, doing the, uh, taking the excess off the ends of the dovetails so that they're flush with the outside of the legs. Marking around uh, with a knife and the tri-square. Sawing and then paring away any excess with a sharp chisel. And uh, whilst that carries on in the background, I can just tell you or just um, mention a few things. First of all, thanks to Michael, who's joined as a, a new patron on Patreon. Thanks, Michael. Now, also, I was delighted to see one of my dovetail marking gauges make an appearance on somebody else's uh, YouTube channel. And that was Andreas. Uh, he just released a video on the making of his uh, tool cabinet, which is very good. And I'll put a link in the description towards that. Uh, he was using um, the dovetail marking gauge to make the drawers. And I believe his assistant, Morris, uh, was doing his very first dovetails. So well done, Morris. They look pretty good. Lots of interesting uh, techniques used there. So a plug for Andrea's video. And, uh, well, I might as well do a plug for my marking gauges. The dovetail marking gauges available on my Etsy store. Go and take a look if that's something you're interested in. Okay, let's try and get back to the action. So good news, we can see what's going on again now, and I'm just doing a, another dry refit, uh, dry assembly, and it's the tops of the legs this time. Uh, I made some of them a little bit too long, so I'm just going to trim that down so that they're within the, the height of the rails. And uh, unfortunately I seem to remember only one of them uh, was enough material to actually saw, the rest I had to just uh, pare away with a chisel. So I'm marking at the moment with the chisel to get the the line I want and then I'll take it over to the vise and finish it off there. I erred a little on the side of caution when it came to uh, cutting the legs to length originally. Uh, better to have them too long than too short but unfortunately uh, I made them a little too much too long to be able to simply pair them with it uh, clamped together. But uh, hey, you live and learn. Now I don't know whether any of you noticed the uh, base of my spot lamp there. It did originally have a, a heavy base that just uh, put it down wherever you want it but uh, for some reason that broke and uh, I built this little wooden base. It's a low voltage system, 12 volts, so there's a transformer down near the plug and so it's very safe and I've uh, made it basically the same size as a dog so I can just put it in any of the dog holes on the bench and that's really convenient and very stable. trimming these small amounts and I'm talking for three of the legs somewhere between a 32nd and a 16th of an inch trimming those off as I'm doing here really is quite tedious and it would be a lot easier a lot faster to do it with uh, a mitre saw but uh, actually it's good uh, it's good practice with the chisels
And sawing an almost paper thin slice off the end is a good practice with a saw. And the memory and the battery are just about to run out, so uh, let's stop there. I've just clamped everything together, uh, put the tops on, and uh, I'm really happy with the way it looks. So the next step now will be to glue up the um, back frame, the front frame. Once they've uh, once they've set, I can glue on the end rails and uh, take it from there. So looking good. So we're off again. See the plastic to do the glue up on. Take the bench apart. Yet another delay as the nozzle of my glue is bunged up. I've tried a fair few glues in my time and I've never found one whose nozzle stays clear every time. But anyway, we're up and running again now, so let's just get that done. And uh, my glue spreader, if you've not noticed before, is usually an old credit card or similar. So that's another 1 hour 40 minutes, taking our total to 7 hours 17 minutes unplugged. 
Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Cheerio!